What's up guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm going to tell you all about my exchange in the US. As many of you know, I am French and I just came back from five months in the US as an exchange student. And it was the best thing I've ever experienced. So I wanted to share all of that with you guys. So the first reason why I wanted to go on an exchange was because it's always been a dream of mine to live like that, live in a host family, go to school in a different different country, all that kind of stuff. Going to the US was part of that dream. Like I wanted to be an exchange student in the US. I've been in that country before, um, so it's not like I don't know anything because I used to go to Colorado with my family, but now I was by myself in Arizona. I also wanted to improve my English because I mean, I'm French and my English wasn't bad, but I wanted to improve it and speak more. The timing was was also right. I needed to be able to start fresh somewhere and I had a bad year last year and leaving was the right solution because I needed to start fresh and that's what I did. So I've had this idea for a while to leave on an exchange, but I didn't know when I wanted to do it. So last year during May, or I think it was May, I decided that I wanted to leave this year. So I told my parents, they agreed immediately. They were like, okay, we can try to do this. But it was really late because to do something like that, you need to start filling the paperwork and start working on it at least six months before. And I started mine three months before. Um, we made it work, so we filled out the paperwork in a month. Um, by that time, after everything was filled up and I knew I was going to be able to leave, um, I left for a whole month on vacation because it was summer break. So I left for a whole month on vacation and during that whole month I couldn't get anything done. So I couldn't get my visa done, I couldn't get uh, anything. So while I was on vacation, I got the state that I was going to because I didn't choose. So I got the state that I was going to, which was Arizona, and I got the school I was going to. So that was awesome because I knew that as soon as I came back from my vacation, I would be able to get my visa. So I came home and I got the host family that I was gonna stay with. So as soon as I got the host family, we went up to Paris with my mom, got my visa done, and a visa is supposed to take like three days I think to come but mine took two weeks and considering that I was already late in the program um, I didn't have much time for my visa to get done I was supposed to leave on the 29th of July I ended up leaving on the 11th of August I had to change my flights twice and it was a giant mess and in the end I thought I wasn't gonna go because it was really hard to get my visa for some reason. I left on the 11th of August and everything started. So the first thing I did when I got to the US was meeting my coordinator. Uh, a coordinator is the person that takes care of you besides the host family. So if you have any problems with your host family, with school or anything, the coordinator is there for that basically. So I met her uh, I think the day after I came and um, she was really nice. After that school started, um, it was way easier than I thought. So I just missed a week of school because I was late, but that's okay. The school knew it wasn't my fault, so it was perfectly fine. On my first day, I was completely lost. You guys have no idea. I was walking in school and I had no idea where to go, where my classes were. Um, <laughs> where you were supposed to eat lunch, I was just confused. But I ended up making friends during my first period of the day and it was just really simple and I don't know, everybody was just so nice to me, maybe because, be, maybe because I was late and so I was the only new person there. So maybe that's why people were so nice to me, I don't know. It was a very, very small school that I was into, but I loved it and I got used to it really fast and I just really loved that school. So after a couple of weeks there, I changed host families because it was not the right fit. I mean, they were really nice to me. I'm not saying they were a bad host family, but it was just not the right fit. We were too different and we couldn't work together. I changed host families 
and the second one was just perfect they were like my family so on my exchange I would do a lot of things I did so many things I loved it so much so I would go to school from 8 20 to 1 25 I think it was and after that we'd go out with my friends eat Panda Express and we would hang out at school waiting for cheer practice because I did cheerleading and it was awesome I loved it we don't have that in France I mean we have it but not really it's not as big of a thing as in the US so I did cheerleading and I loved it it was awesome I would go out to eat with my friends go shopping go to the movies I also went hiking twice and I loved it um, we had so much fun with my friends I would I'm not gonna lie I spent so much time with my friends there they became like family to me um, I'd spend all my weekends over at my friend Leah it's the best memories I have um, I think from my exchange is like hanging out with my friends all the time I do this here as well like I'm always with my friends but over there it was way different and I loved it so much I went around using the app Lyft or Uber, I used both um, because I didn't want my family to drive me around everywhere especially because we lived pretty far from town so I'd go around at my friends and all that using Lyft or Uber One thing that people are really scared about going on exchange is getting homesick I did not get homesick, I'm not gonna lie I really loved every single day that I spent there. I never once wanted to come back. And that's the crazy part. I miss my family a lot, but I never wanted to come back. I never got homesick. I never had any big problems while I was there. Um, honestly, everything went so smoothly. The only thing I can see is changing host families at first, but it was no big deal. I mean, everything was fine. So leaving was the hardest part of my exchange, I'm not gonna lie. It was so, so hard saying goodbye to everybody because they became family to me. My school there, it was awesome. I loved it. I wanted to stay the whole year. I couldn't because of school, but I wanted to. When I left, I had the idea of going back because they became family to me and I'm not, not going to see them again. The hardest part, I think, was leaving my exchange student friends. I'm not saying that saying goodbye to all my American friends was easy because not at all. But I know that I will be seeing them again because I know I'll be going back. My exchange student friends, that's going to be hard to see them again. I made friends in Spain, well, Spain is pretty close to France, but still, Spain with Lucia, which was basically one of my best friends there, and she became like family to me. Jordan from China, my boyfriend Kenrick from Hong Kong, um, my friends from Brazil, Bruna and Maria, Jay and Locke from Vietnam. Like, see, there's people everywhere. It's awesome, but it's gonna be hard to see them, and leaving them was the hardest part. So me and my friends on my last day, I cried my eyes out because I was so sad I was leaving. Me and my friend Jessica, we were at school and hugging and crying, both of us. Are, like We were crying so bad that day. So coming back was extremely hard and I'll do a whole video about it because there are so many things to say. But honestly, coming back is one of the hardest things I've ever experienced. The first week I was completely lost. I had no idea where I was honestly and I was so confused but then things started getting really hard and it still kind of is I mean going back to school and studying in a completely different way with people that I'm way less comfortable with I'll do a whole video about it to explain it more and help you guys that are in the same situation so I miss the US a lot I miss the way of life that you have there and Everything is so different that I really miss the US. I still talk to my friends every day basically, my best friends from there and everybody I met there basically, I still talk to a lot of people and that's awesome. So in the end, my exchange was the best thing I've ever experienced. I met incredible, incredible people. Going on an exchange taught me a lot. I learned so much in just five months, not only the language, but I learned so much about who I am. It sounds kind of cheesy, but it's true. I got way less shy as a person. Now I talk to everybody. I'm not scared of what people think of me anymore. I can do whatever I want. I, I don't care what people think. And that's awesome. 
I got more independent and I love it because I feel better but it's hard going back to not being that independent but in the end I would do it all over again without a doubt I can leave tomorrow if I could I would leave tomorrow and do it all over again honestly if you're looking into it and if you're able to do it just go for it it's the best thing I've ever experienced and I loved it from the beginning to the end of it so I hope this video helps you I really enjoyed talking about my exchange like this. I'll do more videos about it, uh, more detailed and all that. Don't forget to smile and I'll see you in another video.